The Seven Summits was first formulated and completed as a climbing challenge by mountaineer Richard Bass. This Bass list has Mount Kosciuszko for the Australian continent as the lowest peak at just 2,228 meters. A variant Seven Summits list by Reinhold Messner has the higher Punchuk Jaya at 4,884 meters for more broadly delimited Australian continent, which includes the island of New Guinea. These two lists are otherwise entirely matched and have the ice sheet encircled Vincent Massif next for Antarctica. Then is the double peaked Mount Elbrus for Europe in southwest Russia. Some people don't like this one being counted for Europe and would prefer the Alps Mont Blanc. That would move the European peak down this list a couple notches. Next is Africa with the big Kilimanjaro volcano with its famous but diminishing ice cap located in northeastern Tanzania. Surpassing six kilometers in height, we then have North America's Denali, a huge granitic peak in south central Alaska. It was formerly known as Mount McKinley. Next, reaching close to seven kilometers in height, making it the highest peak outside of Asia, is Aconcagua in South America. This extremely tall peak is an extinct volcano in the Andes of west central Argentina. And finally, for Asia, along the crest of the Great Himalayas, a huge mountain region that continues to be thrusted and folded by tectonic forces is Mount Everest, located on the Nepal-China border at a staggering 8,849 meters, a summit elevation that's been revised upward in recent years and is still likely increasing by a few millimeters per year. So is Mount Everest then our slam dunk winner for having the highest summit in the world? Well, there is something additional we should specify here. And that is, what's the base level height that we are measuring from? This nice infographic by NOAA illustrates this. Everest is the highest when measuring relative to mean sea level. If measuring from the center of the Earth, Chimborazo is highest because it's located at a very low latitude and the Earth's shape is bulged around the equator. If measuring from its sea bottom base, Mauna Kea would be the tallest in the world. Another thing that could be considered when measuring up Everest against other mountains is that Everest has a very high base height as it rises up from the already high Tibetan Plateau. Here's a final map to show mentioned peaks with respect to tectonic volcanic setting. Only two more minor seven summit peaks are found at locations that have not been active during the past 1 million years. We have a set of volcanic peaks located in regions that are still volcanically active. All are big stratovolcanoes, with the notable exception of the massive hotspot shield volcano of Mauna Kea. And the rest of the peaks are all the result of tectonic plate convergence, including both subduction, like with Denali, and with continental collision, like with Everest. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, or watch more Geography Viz.